There is a glamour from the fans for Teresita Sen Laksamana Marquez to give it one last try for Miss Universe Philippines 2020. She was born on May 4th, 1992 and she will be turning 28 years old in 2020. She stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall. If she still wants to pursue pageantry and be the country's representative to the alpha pageant that is Miss Universe, then this would be the year for her. It is now or never. Born to actor-politician Joey Marquez and actress-politician Alma Moreno. She graduated at San Beda Alabang with a degree in Bachelor's of Science and Business Administration major in Marketing Management and has earned her teacher's certificate at Southville International School and Colleges. She made a name for herself as a dancer. She's also an actress, a model, and had popularized her signature walk known as Tornado Walk during the Reina Hispano-Americana 2017 competition, where she emerged as the winner in the Latin America Base pageant. She joined three major competitions such as Binibining Pilipinas 2015 where she was part of the top 15 and she did a spectacular, fantastic job during the interview portion of the competition. Alright, how are you feeling? Very excited. They're all very excited and happy. The feeling is mutual for all of them. Excited and happy. Okay, let's see who your judge is. My question is, if you, will, if you win one of the crowns tonight, Will you become an ambassador of goodwill? What is your message of peace for your fellow Filipinos, especially at this time? I would tell to the fellow Filipinos that we should learn the importance of dialogue to be able to have a conflict resolution. Filipinos have integrity. They have passion and they're determined to persevere. If we all unite and just be able to help one another, then we will achieve peace. Miss World Philippines 2017, where she bagged the title Reina Hispano Americana 2017, where she got the privilege to compete in Bolivia and represent our country, the Philippines, and won as the Reina Hispano Americana 2017. This was the first time our country joined this pageant and made history. about your q and I know a lot of beauty queens get a yeah. little jittery for that one. Um, of course, I think all beauty queens, when it comes to Q&A, you're going to get really nervous. Uh -huh. It's a make or break segment of a beauty pageant. Yeah, and the question you were given was very, it was relevant, I think, yes. to what people were saying about you even before yes. you even before the pageant. The questions were really uh, personal, uh -huh. even with the other girls. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really connected to them. So it's perfect though that they asked me that question because I was experiencing that mm. during the pageant. So I got my answer through experience and I was just really being honest. Yeah. So I wasn't nervous because I know what I was going to say and mm. it was not made up. Mm. So yeah. Well, for, you know, for the people watching who don't know what you were asked, you were asked to, uh, just to refresh yeah. their memories. Yeah. Um, you were asked oh about yeah, it's all in speaking. Spanish, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you were asked about speaking, um, how you can promote um, Hispanic culture 
if you don't speak Spanish. Yeah, if yeah. I have a language barrier. Mm-hmm. I just told them that, you know, um, for me, kindness is a universal language. I got through the pageant, a Spanish-based language, uh-huh. uh, Spanish-based pageant. If you're just kind enough, if you make an effort to learn, and if you're kind to one another, yeah. then eventually they will teach you, they would help you. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I think the essence of Hispanic culture is not just about the language. Uh-uh. It's about the culture, the traditions, and you know, it's about learning and celebrating life. Mm-hmm. Is of course education. Yes. I'm for education. That's my advocacy from the very beginning, from Miss World mm-hmm. until now. And I'm, I want people to learn less fortunate people, everyone, no matter what age, Mm-mm. the opportunity to learn. And I am in partner with a program in Southfield International School, which is a poor urban child program, mm-hmm. wherein they invite different schools and then they give programs to um, public schools. So yeah, um, give workshops mm. and basically education at, it, at its whole. Yeah. yeah. Katakis, are you ready for her? And if you're new to my channel, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified of similar videos like this.